Hi, I'm Dan, and today we're going to look at building a blurry background inside of Elements for Mac. Now, Elements for Mac uses Tailwind CSS, so that's what we're going to be basing it on. Now, I've got it set up here, but I want to step back a little bit and just show you where the original idea came from and the code, and then we'll dive into it and I'll show you how to add controls and that will uh, so we can control the colors and other properties. So uh, if I head over to Safari, uh, on the official Tailwind YouTube site, I was browsing their tutorials and things and found this one about making um, the blurry background we want. Now, thankfully, they include a link to the source code. So let's open that. And um, it has this blurry background with the things being animated and uh, these bits over the top. Now, for our example, we obviously didn't want these other elements over the top. So when I found this example, I just started deleting those out. Um, so just like this. And I copied this code and pasted it into a custom component in Elements. Now, th that's a great thing about Tailwind. It's really, really popular and there's so much sample code out there. You can kind of take um, a snippet, an example that someone else has created and you can use that and build a custom component from it. So um, this example here extends the Tailwind config file and that's something currently elements doesn't do um, but it is something we want to do in the future but this animation stuff I rewrote it slightly as CSS and I'll show you that so anyway let's hop over to elements and you can see our example here and this is a custom component so if I hit the button here then we can see, let me just close this down. Then we can see this is the code to generate this. And it's not that much code. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's a few div elements and then a whole bunch of Tailwind classes to do this magic. And as I said, the CSS, um, I had to rewrite it, but it's just a couple of classes. I've got a scaling element here and that animates our elements and then a slight delay on two of the blobs so they all move at different times. And we can see that in our styles file here. I've got the keyframe animation, so transform it from one to the scale of 1.5 and it's gonna scale it in and out over three seconds and it's gonna loop forever, so that's you know, infinite. Um, and there's the animation delays there. So that's the basics of setting this up in Elements. And this code is available to uh, download, or this file is, so you'll be able to play around with it yourself. But what we want to do now is we want to add some controls to this because we, while the colors are set here and I could just change these, you see that change there? I could just change these. That's not really what we want because then every time I use this component, I'd have to come in here, find the code and tweak it. What we really want to do is add a nice color picker to each of these and we can do that. So let's go back to the browser and um, we're going to go to the element docs and a handy link for the element um, developer docs is always at the top of the forum. So if you're in here asking questions, you can just click elements manual, boom. Um, it's also available in the help menu there as well. So if you're in elements, so lots of ways to get to this. Now we want to look at the elements language and we want to look at the properties file and UI controls because the properties file is where we build up our controls. And what we want is we want a theme um, color and we don't want just a single control because if you paste the single control in it won't work controls always need to be in groups so here's our group example i just copy this head back over to elements go to the properties file and i can simply paste this in and it appears uh in the in the inspector for us so let's start customizing this um this is theme color example that's the title of our group um Let's call this blob controls and 
the title here is color and we want that to be let's call this blob one and this is custom color custom color one we can call that because this id here is what we'll reference in the template file so what i can do um, i'm going to cut copy this custom color one and i'm going to go back over to the template and we're going to replace this um, value here now this is bg dash red 300 and if i uh, paste in our value so it's open curly brackets twice curly braces and then close now it's not working and i know why this is because if we go back over to our properties file we're formatting the value that comes back and at the moment it's set to text because that's just the example that was in our um, in the docs but we want it to be a bg color so we'll switch that to bg and now let's change this color now uh, bg value let's have a look at our template um, custom color now that should be working let's have a look let's pick a color blue there we are okay just hadn't picked up that initial color excellent right so now we're working so now we can change the um, color of this single control and that's really cool because it means when I create another page I can just drag in my blurry BG and you see it starts with a blue color but we maybe want it green on this page and I can just customize it like that which is cool however let's go back to the home page and um, let's continue to customize this because we want some more controls I go back to the docs and let's we want the single example this time we don't need a group to surround it because we've got a group now so we just want the single control um, so let's do that now in the group here this is the top of the group and this is my control here and I can see where it starts here after this square bracket because it's highlighted there and it tells me where it ends because it highlights the closing curly bracket so we're going to need a um, comma to separate the values and then I'm going to paste in another control so now we've got the same thing here we're going to need to customize this so this can be blob 2 and you'll notice all this updates live and this is custom color 2 and we obviously need to say bg uh, dash value so custom color 2 let's copy that and we'll replace the color here with that and let's go and pick there we are and let's do this one ahead of time because I know what this one's going to be we're going to call this is the third one custom color 3 obviously doesn't exist yet so it's appearing blank but let's go to the properties file and we want to copy this again and we'll put in a comma again because we're going to add in another um, another control so there we are that's blob 2 let's call him blob 3 custom color 3 lovely um, and let's set this one to red that's looking pretty good now uh, on these custom controls here you'll notice these have got default colors here um, so when you drag them in it will be they'll all be blue but we don't want that so uh, let's pick another one this one could be cyan um, and this one let's what should we do this one as let's do uh, we'll do this one as pink so those are the default colors so if I go uh, let's go to the untitled page over here and let's delete this if I drop my blurry BG in it should pick those there we are it picks those colors up um, let's have a look yeah so it picks those colors up we've got blue cyan and pink and then I can obviously just customize those however I want so this is already pretty cool we've taken that code and we've built up um, a way for you to use this in multiple places in your project which is very cool um, and one other thing what I'm thinking is we could uh, we could customize a lot of things in here like I could add a slider for the um, opacity or a drop down for the blur amount you know uh, or even a way to change the blend mode um, any of the values in here we could add controls for but what I wanted to show you is we can also add um, controls 
and reference them in the styles file here. So at the moment, it's hard coded to be a three second animation. And if I change that in this component, it's going to change that across my entire site because it's hard coded. And that's not what I want. So I think a little slider would be good here. So let's go back to the um, UI controls and da, 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 where are we? Let's pick a slider. And we've got some different examples for sliders here. Now, um, these are like predefined values. And this would be great if, if we wanted to do things like blur, because the blur is blur dash SM, blur dash MD, blur dash XL, and that would be great. And then we could fill these up, but we don't want that because we're doing, we just need seconds or just numbers essentially. Um, there, I have an example in here. Now the example is in the group, but we don't want that. We just want the control. So I'm going to cover, copy just the inner piece, which is uh, the bit inside the group here. Let me just copy that and we'll go over to our properties file. And uh, let's see, where are we? We're here. I'm going to add a comma and add in another property. So you can see my slider It's saying contrast and it's percent, which is not what we want. This is, um, let's call this duration. You can see it update there. And, uh, or maybe, oh, actually, let's call this speed because it's the speed of it. Um, speed or duration would have worked. Now I'm giving the ID, the ID is the, um, it's going to be the value we'll use in the style. Um, it's not a percent, it's S. Now this is the units, this is just a display value there, but we need to change it in the format because that is the actual value. And we'll just put a little S there. And if we go back to the styles file, uh, you can see it says 3S, but we want to change this to our uh, speed. Uh, let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. um, this is up to 100 seconds. We don't really want that. Let's go back to the properties. And the default should probably be 10. The minimum is one second or actually let's do three seconds um, because we've got the delay on that. And the maximum could be, uh, let's say, I don't know, 50 seconds. So now our slider goes from three seconds up to 50. And if we move it down, we can see those moving pretty quickly there. And we could have those working a lot slower. And so now, um, if I go back to my other page, let's drop in a new, let's drop in a new one. Um, we could change the speed on this one and change the colors. And that's looking pretty good. And then I could go back to my home and it's using the values we've defined there. Oops, I don't know why that's gone back to zero. Shouldn't have done. Um, so that's pretty cool. One thing I would like to do, this is great, but this is um, just, uh, it's fixed and I can't overlay anything into it. So we really want to drop, we want to have a drop zone in here so I can lay anything on top of it. So for that, we don't want a UI control. We need to work in the template file. So let's have a look in here and in the HTML and we have editable content. And what I want is drop zones because we want to put a drop zone in here. So I'm going to copy this little code snippet and there's probably better ways to do this and you could work it out in your layout, but I'm just going to paste it in here so you can see this working. And there is our drop zone. So now I could drop uh, some heading text in there. So that's looking pretty good. Let's, um, let's make this a bit bolder, center it, make it bigger. Um, override because I want to make it chunky and the color, I want to make that white. And now uh, we've got a little drop zone in there and I, you know, I could build anything up in there. And um, we've got our colors. Let's change that to cyan. This is very, very cool. And, you know, I could add in um, controls for any of this stuff. And it's just, 
it's just really cool. Um, so that is um, building a custom component with uh, using some Tailwind code and adding UI controls to it. And the possibilities here are absolutely endless. Um, yeah, so I hope you find this useful and you can download this file, play around with it yourself and hopefully put it to good use. All right, I will see you in the next video. Cheers, bye.